Welcome back to the Morales channel. My name's Ash, and today I want to talk about the killer app of Web3, which is going to be decentralized autonomous organizations, or DAOs, the ability to be able to run a part or the whole of your organization in a decentralized manner so that there is no centralized authority at the heart of it running how things get done. In fact, now the users of your organization can decide exactly what happens next, and the more powerful the users are of these DAOs, the greater your organization is going to be. And this is where Morales comes in because you're going to be able to rapidly build very powerful tools that are going to add functionality to your DAO. And probably the most important function of a DAO is the ability to allow your users to vote on proposals that get put forward. And so in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how you can create an app, a widget that could be anywhere on the internet that allows the users of a DAO to sign a poll, to sign a vote in a poll using a Web3 wallet. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, I'm going to save you a lot of time because Morales is all about saving time. And in the description of this video, there is a link to the Git repo with the code from today, Morales poll. So this is our widget, our dApp, and it is cloned, or it's, so it's forked from the Web3 social network boilerplate, which is going to save us time in that it takes care of all the functionality to do with the user and connecting to Web3 that normally we'd need to write for ourselves, but now we can just use this as our base. So this is our base boilerplate that I've forked. So I've forked the code base, turned it into Morales Pole. And so what you wanna do is just clone this down or even fork it for yourself. So you'd go copy this link to the Git repo. And then in Visual Studio Code, you wanna to go to your terminal, do Git clone, paste in the link to the repository and then it'll clone it down into your local dev environment. And that's what I've done. And I've added the folder to my workspace in Visual Studio Code. Next, link our dap, the code base to a Morales server instance, which I've already done, but let's go and do that again. So we're gonna to go to morales.io and we're going to create a new server. Let's do a testnet server. Let's call this Morales poll that and select our region and then let's do Polygon Mumbai. You can select any of these chains in theory, but for this tutorial, we're just going to use Polygon Mumbai and then we're going to add instance. So once our server's ready, we're going to view the details. We're going to copy our server URL and our, ad, our app ID. And what we're going to do is in the code base, there's going to be an ENV file. So env is what it's called here but you it might be called env.example you just want to take out the .example and have a .env file and inside of there you just want to paste your server url and your application id save and then we're going to test it so npm start so in your terminal in the root folder of the code base npm start hit return so actually, before I forget, so I've already installed this code base, but once you've cloned down the code base, you want to do npm i, and it should install all the dependencies, because this is a React app, and it's using Node packages, so you want to install them first. This is our polling widget, and it's connecting to our Web3 wallet via the Morales base plate. So all the user functionality is already, we didn't have to code anything in order to be able to access um, the Web3 functionality to manage our user. So this address is linked to the website, it's already connected. So if I disconnect, I'll show you what happens. So the boilerplate has all this authentication functionality. We press authenticate and then we sign it to say we want to connect. So we're connected and it shows the poll widget. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I have 3.9 Matic, this is testnet Matic, accessing the Mumbai testnet. And this widget is checking that I actually have Matic in my wallet in order to show me this poll. Because say for instance in a DAO, you, maybe you've even created your own token and you wanna make sure that the people who have a say, a vote, who are registered to vote in your DAO, 
they need to have the token in their wallet. And so you could have the, the Morales code stipulate that in the balance, the native balance of this wallet, it should have a certain amount of X token. So for here, we've got 3.9 Matic. It's just checking that I've got more than zero Matic. But let me show you, if I go to uh, switch to another account with zero Matic, I have no access. And I wouldn't be able to vote on the poll when accessing the website through this wallet. So let me switch back. So this widget here is actually a module, a node module React polls. That's one of the dependencies, so I'll show you that in a moment. But it's just saving us time in developing a front end. So the next thing we want to do is just check that our DAP is indeed connected to our Morales server instance. So we're going to go to our server instance, to our dashboard, and then we go to polls, and we can see we've got our poll here with our title, the question that we're proposing. We've got who's voted, so this is very important for certain conditions. You want to make sure that we are registering who has already voted in this poll, so that perhaps later on they can't vote again, access is denied because we check the Morales instance, our class, to make sure that the wallet is not contained within this class. Then we've also got the options, which is each option plus the, the, the amount of times it's been voted for. So we've got all the data. All the data to, to do with our poll is in here and what wallets have signed their votes. So now that we know our Morales server instance is connected to our DAP, we can dig into the code and I will show you how I've adapted the Web3 social network boilerplate in order to build our poll component. So main.jsx is the main homepage of our DAP. And instead of the default categories and feed components, I've pasted in this polls component, commented those out for now. And that is this polls.js component here. And this is where everything happens to do with our polls component. This is what I've this is what I piggybacked off of the boilerplate in order to add this poll component, which you could then plug into any React app that then uses React Morales and React polls. So React Morales is all of our Morales functionality to do with our user component. And then native balance checks the wallet that is connected to the DAP. And in this case, we're just checking whether it's got a, a zero balance or not. So as you can see here, let's do a quick search, native balance. So native balance currently statically connecting to the Mumbai testnet. So we're just, we're only interested in Mumbai, the Polygon testnet, and then we're getting the balance. And that is as easy as it needs to be to check the balance of a Web3 wallet uh, on the Mumbai testnet, which is what we want to do here. And then React Polls, the node module that we're using to display the UI is here. So this is what gets rendered out on the front end that you see here. And all we're doing is instead of, I mean, normally, I guess you'd use this front end as um, just on with a normal database. But here we, with the handle vote, when you click on an option, it is going to create this function handle vote. And we're taking the answer, the option that the person has clicked on. And then we're creating a Morales object. And we're saving that to our Morales instance so that later on we can check whether they voted already or not. So that's what we're doing here. And that's just using some Morales functionality, um, saving that so it gets saved to our Morales instance. And it's just got uh, the ID of the poll, the title, the options. So every time someone votes on this, it's going to add another vote to the option that they've chosen. And then it's going to add to voted. So just to show you in our dashboard, voted is voted here. And that's the address of the wallet that has voted. In order to, to get to vote, all we have to do really is check that a Web3 wallet is, is able to sign the vote. And that is what we've already got here when we, we're saving the object. The vote has been signed by the address, but we need to make sure that there's some security so that when the person signs to connect to the DAP, we can then see if they have a balance that meets the conditions for, in order to be able to, to vote. So piggybacking off of the boilerplate, we check that the poll component is mounted and then we make sure that it's a new account, as in, you know, you haven't switched accounts between wallets. And then we check that the 
the wallet that's actually connected right now as a user uh, with a Web3 wallet, we check their registration status. So we go to check reg, is authenticated. We check that the user is logged in via their Web3 wallet. And then we check the balance of their Web3 wallet via that use native balance up here. Let's have a look, just make sure, yeah. So we check the balance here, this balance here, we check that in the check reg. So access equals the balance that you have. So making sure that you have a balance that it's a valid uh, variable. And then we check that the balance is over zero. And then we say whether the, the access is true or false. So if we meet this very simple criteria, um, then we're allowed access to vote. And in that case, we display the poll questions and we basically we build what the poll should look like. We add the options and then we set registration as true or not. So set reg is using the React hooks. Uh, let's have a look, use state. It's using a use state React hook up here. So the access is the variable. Set reg is the function that we use to set this variable and it's using the React hook use state, which then means that whenever access changes within our app, we can then use it to display the component, whether to render the component or not. So the way that works is if access is false, then no access, we just display a message or, or what have you. At the moment, it's just a very simple static no access uh, string. And then if this isn't the case and we do have access, then we display the poll. And that is as simple as this needs to be. But there really isn't that much custom code really in order to create this very powerful basic tool that you could then use in a DAO. The only custom code we're really doing is the conditional checks on whether the user has a certain balance or not. And you know you could adapt that to how whatever needs you have. But the basic principle of signing a vote with a Web3 wallet trustlessly, there's everything you need in here and it is all piggybacking off the social network boilerplate and all the user functionality that you get with Morales. So very cool, very powerful, and this is just the start. I'm gonna be turning this into a fully fledged component. But unfortunately, that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video, this code base gets you started, gets you inspired to start thinking of other functionality, other dApps that you could build to increase the power of DAOs Leave any questions you've got down below. Join me in the Morales Discord, in the forum. Happy biddling, and I'll see you in the next one.